Welcome to another exciting episode of Will It Run It. Today I'm taking the request of a loyal viewer and I'm gonna check and see if one of the cheapest EcoFlow rivers can power a garage door opener. Uh, if it can open and close a garage door. And if so, the next question is gonna be how many times do we estimate it can do it? So my example here is I'm in a residential. This is a custom home. Uh, this is a pretty standard size, I think, for a custom home. This is 18 foot wide by eight foot tall and it's insulated. So it's one of the heavier doors that you would get in a residential construction. As far as I know, most track homes, they're 18, or I'm sorry, they're 16 foot wide, so they're a little bit shorter and, or a little bit narrower, and they're seven foot tall, so they're a little bit shorter as well, and they're not insulated. So all that um, to say that this is probably some of the heavier weight, uh, and I have a beautiful blue Dodge Challenger in the background, that's my wife's car. Let's climb up here and take a look at the label and see what this says. Uh, let's see, no, nothing there about power. Maybe the other side has the power on it. All right, here we go. Yes, right here. So it says it's a 120 volt, six amp. So as far as I know about um, electric motors is that's gonna be your peak. Uh, six times 120 would be 720. So. 720 watts is the most that this motor can pull. The EcoFlow, unfortunately, can do 600 watt continuous. However, it states it can do 1200 watt peak uh, and it can do X boost, which basically means lower the voltage to accommodate things that have higher draw. Um, so if X boost has to kick in, what I would envision happening is it would just kind of run a little bit slower, uh, possibly instead of the full speed. But uh, without further ado, let's plug this thing in and see what happens. I've got my extension cord here. It's a 25 foot extension cord. I know the longer your extension cords can have a small impact on voltage drop. <sighs> but let's give this one a shout. There we go. Got it plugged in. Let's plug it into the side of the EcoFlow. Now I do have X-Boost enabled on this thing, so that you know. All right, it is 100% charged. The AC is on, the lights are flashing. Okay, so I got it all plugged up. Let's hit the button and see what happens. Looky there, you can't even tell. It had, didn't even flinch. 510 watts, 500, wow, lovely. So it pulled 500 watts for the amount of time it took. And uh, look at that too, uh, it's done, but it's still pulling 103 watts. And that's because I've got two 60 watt light bulbs. So if it was maxing this thing out, if it was pulling more than 600, let's say if it was pulling 700, all I'd have to do is unscrew those light bulbs and then it would be able to do it. Okay, let's close it and see what difference that makes. Seems like it's pulling about the same amount of power to close. Lovely. So it can do it. The, the cooling fan did kick on, but I opened and I closed it and it said it, it's, it was at 100% when I started. It's at 99% now. Let's do one more cycle and see if it drops to 98%. Going up. Ninety-eight percent and going down. So just a quick thought is if it uses one percent to go up and down, that means I've got roughly one hundred cycles. Well, it's at ninety-seven percent, so I probably have a little bit less than one hundred. But uh, still, I mean, when are you going to be opening your garage door a hundred times without being able to recharge? I don't know. I guess it could happen. So I said one of the cheapest EcoFlow rivers, and the reason why is because I bought that thing on eBay on sale for $199 for a refurb unit, and there was a 15% off coupon whenever I bought it. So I ended up paying $169 plus tax for that EcoFlow River, and that's a killer price. I've been watching the prices on these things. I use an app that one of my friends wrote called Notify Price to watch prices of items just like this, things that I'm not really in a hurry to buy, but things that uh, if it goes on a good enough sale, I wanna snatch it up before it goes away. 
Give that app a try sometime if, you, if you're interested in getting something like this. I checked today, and right now the EcoFlow River 600, the small one, is on sale on eBay right now, uh, refurb, direct from manufacturer, so it still comes with the warranty um, for $200. So I don't see it get any cheaper than that, at least the amount of time I've been watching it. So quickly buy yourself one if you're interested. Hopefully this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. None, I'm not affiliated with EcoFlow and I'm not affiliated with uh, Notified Price either. Those are just apps that I use uh, and, and tools that I like that I wanted to share with you all about. Thanks for watching.